Our final example looks at the application of a special event scenario on an existing conditions projection. For this example, we will look at a midday football game during the week at a major university, a very unlikely scenario, but one that could be very impactful in terms of parking demand. As you see visually, during the peak hour, the campus is already at or near capacity in many of its parking lots. To begin, we will navigate to the Special Events section and choose our venue. Note that many of the venues are predefined based on land use information. The user can also create unique events that are not identified in the land uses. Once we select our venue, we will begin the event editing process, which includes defining event-specific walking tolerances, event start and end times, vehicular occupancy, number of attendees, and multimodal characteristics of event attendees. If we were creating a unique event, we would define the area of the event. Because we are using a predefined event, the area is defined for us. We could also define specific parking relationships, but for this example, we will look to see what happens when we allow event attendees to mingle with regular parking patrons. Once we are done editing, we simply select our venue to activate the event conditions we just identified. Once selected, we simply click Run and begin the projection process. Once the projection is complete, we see that the area is now deficient by almost 7,000 spaces. The event demand has brought nearly 15,000 new cars on campus, leaving the area to struggle to meet the demand that is generated. As we see visually, the demand has created latent demand throughout campus, with the ripple effects of parking problems around the stadium spilling into all corners of the campus.